I'm just finishing getting ready. I'm brushing out my curls currently with a comb. This is how I always fix it. I used to do it with a brush and it's significantly different when you um, brush it with a comb versus a brush. I just find that it kind of holds better when I brush through my hair with a comb versus going in with a brush. Just got ready for the night. It's Saturday and we're going out to dinner. Kind of took a long time to get ready. I had like a, a different type of Saturday. I don't usually work out in the middle of the day, but I woke up, spent basically like the whole morning in my PJs and I had like a hair mask in and had breakfast. And then I just decided around like one o'clock, 1.30, instead of getting in the shower and like washing my hair, I went down and worked out and did. I've been wearing Bala bangles on the treadmill for like three weeks now. I've been trying to like tone my arms up and I've been doing Bala bangles. I have the two pounds and I just tie them around my wrists and I walk with them for like two, kind of depends on the day, but I mainly walk on the treadmill Monday through Friday. So I do like five days a week workouts and I mainly walk for like two and a half, sometimes three miles, and will wear them the whole time. And I'm hoping that it makes some of a difference with toning my arms. And I'm also doing every day a five minute Pilates arm. Just trying to tone up my arms, trying new things, and see like what works. So that's what I've been doing recently. And then I made a smoothie. I finally am like mastering how to use my Vitamix. I got a Vitamix a couple weeks ago and I just haven't been able, maybe I'm just scared to like turn it up and like use it to its full power. Like they always would just come out clumpy. Like with the smoothie that I made last week and it came out really clumpy and I just like didn't like it. And I tried again today. I was almost kind of struggling with it and I was like, okay, we're just gonna add some more water and try this again And I don't know if there's like a learning curve with it, but you just can't be scared to like turn up the power But the smoothie turned out really good after I just like Turned it up and then I washed my hair and now we're getting ready. We're going to Fresco's for dinner Picking out an outfit to wear. I think I'm gonna do Casual. I got these linen pants um, off of Revolve actually and they were, they had a fair price and I had a, my birthday was this month, so I had a 10% off birthday coupon. Not like it did a huge amount, but I feel like they were a fair price for, I feel like they were around $60. And I was looking, I bought a pair off of Abercrombie and Fitch that I ended up returning that were $80. And I just didn't love the way that they fit. And I love the way that these fit. I love how they're a drawstring so you can tighten and loosen them. And they're double lined. I don't know if that's going to be a hit or a miss with me, but it's kind of nice how they're not see-through because a lot of linen pants are see-through. I am, haven't washed them yet and I'm usually weird about, oh, this is the brand, by the way. I haven't taken the tag off yet. And I feel like they run true to size. They're also not super long on me and I am 5'2". There is some extra fabric at the bottom, but I'll, I'll share my outfit when I put it all on and you can see, but... It's also really hard being short and trying to find linen pants that fit. And I haven't washed them and usually I'm like a freak about washing things before wearing them. I actually have to wash things, but I didn't wash them. And I really wanna wear them, so we're going against the things. Anyways, I need to steam them in my steamer. Fresco's is really good Italian spot if you live in Orlando. It's a little bit far from Orlando. It's Dr. Phillips area, so like 30 minutes from us, but so worth it. Okay, here is the outfit of the night. We're about to head out the door. This top is from Free People. I have it in two colors. I have it in white and this gray color. I love how the top opens up like this. You can kind of wear it two different ways. Button it up a little bit more, button it up all the way, or wear it open like I have. I think it's so cute. And then here are the pants. I feel like they are a great length for me being 5'2". And they are double lined, not uncomfortable so far, but I love how they're not super see-through. And then shoes are from Tiki's. They lace up my ankle. Earrings are Heaven Mayhem. Straw bag is from Rebecca Minkoff, but last summer. And that is the fit for dinner. The white older brother.
I'm making my coffee and I wanted to walk you through what I'm doing today. So I'm doing a huge glass of ice, half crushed, half normal. And then this is the only thing that really helps me pour the coffee into here, so I use this. And I put ground cinnamon at the bottom. And I'm gonna pour the espresso over top of it and it will like mix in really nicely. And then of course these are the two things that I've always put in. And I feel like the cinnamon would go really good with the coffee cake nut pods because this already has kind of like a cinnamon flavor. And I think the crushed ice and regular ice combo is so good. I don't know why. And because there's so much crushed ice at the bottom, it looks like there's a lot of like milk in here, but it's not. There's just a lot of crushed ice at the bottom. Look how delicious. You can see all the cinnamon. So yeah. Oh. Oh my god, it's like the perfect amount. So good with the cinnamon poured over. I feel like when you put the cinnamon on top, it doesn't really get into it as nicely as brewing the espresso over the cinnamon. And you could do this with any machine, like you don't need this machine. You could do this with like an espresso machine, even a Keurig, just pour the espresso over it or the coffee or whatever, um, especially like hot beverages that you can make, it makes such a difference. Okay, it's later. I just cleaned up the kitchen after meal prepping and I'm running this because we're about to leave for dinner and I want something to help with obviously the smell of the kitchen and I don't want to light a candle. So I'm running this and I never use this. I always keep it in my cabinet. I've had it for like 10 years. It's the Vitruvi diffuser. I've had this for forever, truly. So I put it out and I don't like it right here because you can see the cord and I'm like tucking the rest of the cord behind this picture frame but like i feel like it almost looks better but then again it doesn't look super balanced but the plug is hidden and same with the cord but it doesn't look good i feel like almost something needs to be right here too to where i don't really know what do you guys think what looks better let me know i never use this because it just there's no other spot on the counter to where it looks good. And I also need to change out this picture. I don't know why I haven't yet. This picture is from 2019. It is a very old photo and I've just never changed it. And we have so many good engagement photos that I could change it to. So it's my mission, I need to change it. But I don't really have any other spot that the diffuser would look good because no matter what the plug would be shown so when i usually run it i usually plug it in right under here and then i just have it in the center but then i put it away and then 
I forget about it. I feel like if it's out on the counter, I use it. And it's good because you can make the kitchen smell nice without lighting a candle and then you can leave it running and not have to worry about it. I don't know. <laughs> this will do for now. We're going to dinner. Sunday night dinner with our friends. I'm just putting on this perfume by Dossier, the musky musk scent. This one is a dupe for Juliet Has a Gun. It, it smells like the freshest, cleanest perfume. It's one of my favorites. And we're heading to Juju, which is like a Asian spot. We need to leave because we're gonna get gas before. Mm -hmm. 